Hey everybody, Geodub's back at it again today to play the daily challenge for May 31st. This is actually June 1st today. I am uh, very, very close to the new challenge coming out, so I knew I had to get it in and uh, record it before that expires. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Now, we are in a, well, a desert sort of. Um, not really, I guess, a desert just because there's mountains. I don't know. It's it's dry, and I believe the word is arid for this, for this type of landscape. I briefly saw what I thought to be Spanish. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move a little bit south in the other direction. We have here, uh, road work. I was like, thought they were wearing hazmat suits for a second. Wasn't too sure what was going on. This is Spanish. Um, where are we? Could be a handful of places. Honestly, pretty much starting with Mexico and going further down. Um, I, I don't actually think this is necessarily Mexico. Mexico does have a slightly different vibe from what I've experienced playing. Whoops, map is, uh, in the way. Yeah, so, I think this is definitely the west coast of South America. Chile, Peru, um, maybe Ecuador. I think I recall seeing these signs, signs like these, in Peru or Chile. In one of those countries, what you always find, or usually find, uh, the poles back here are uh, thicker, and they have like this sort of black and white pattern on them. Now, the utility poles themselves, I don't remember which ones look like what in which country so that's not really what i'm going to go off of here i'm going to instead keep moving and maybe see that there will be a print on the side of this truck that will maybe tell us something they did do a fairly good job of blurring and the uh, the coverage is not that great to begin with just because we have a minute left i think i want to place the marker down um shoot yeah this is this is tricky any hints there? Yeah, no, like some of the, uh, okay, we have newer coverage, I think, or it could just be different, um, different time, same year, roughly. I don't know. Uh, the more I, uh, my instincts are telling me to go Peru. I still kind of want to go, I want to entertain the idea of Chile a little bit, just because I have seen places like this in Chile. Let me see just one more time. That car also had a sticker on the side, like a classification number that said, oh, wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, everything may... Five. I'm just going to go here because it is the first five that I found. Nine seconds left. I mean, not really much of an option to make another decision. I think maybe we're like more like, yeah, I'll go back to where we started. Screw it. Um... No, I should have gone a little bit further south. I actually could have gotten a very good guess. I don't know. Did that sign that I was at, did it say Valinar? I think it might have. Honestly, though, not, not bad for a Chile score, considering that Chile goes, like, all the way like this. Very, very, very hard to get a good score there sometimes. Um, it could have been, it could have gone from good to perfect. You can't, it's it's really a crapshoot unless you find the exact, like, bend in the road or an exact uh, array, array of towns. So, not to worry. Um, Switzerland, maybe? <laughs> wow. This is, uh, this is gorgeous, for starters. I think... I'm getting German vibes with the language, and... The thing about Switzerland is that they kind of speak German, Italian, and French there. A little bit of the, a little a mix of everything. We have what looks to be like a ski resort map. And um, it's not exactly easy to see what's going on just because the blur. Something arena that says, I think that that's supposed to be a cursive Z with like the line through it. Maybe it's a T. That's either Zillotal or Tillotal. Let's quickly have a look in Switzerland for anything like that um that i could just be completely reading that wrong of course but it's good to know that we're near uh, some sort of ski resort that that is nice let me just quickly adjust the mic 
UNESCO Biosphere. That is, uh, that's interesting. Didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> I could have just looked here. What does that say? Yeah, that, that doesn't help me at all. Uh, let's look for a flag instead. This could be Andorra as well, but less inclined to believe that. This really does look like a very typical, picturesque Swiss sort of thing. Uh, it could be Austria. The reason I'm saying it is because I know a lot of people from Europe come to Switzerland, obviously, just to, you know, visit Switzerland. But I see two plates that are European. And I just know that in Switzerland, I don't know their dynamic with, like, EU or Europe or whatever. But I know in Switzerland, they have license plates that don't have any, don't have any of that blue. So I'm actually now a little bit more inclined to say Austria. Maybe Austria-Switzerland border, like... Uh, it's a hmm it's interesting but i'm actually i'm kind of thinking a little bit more austria now let's quickly with 40 seconds left let's quickly find i don't know something else anything else i feel like i really should have stuck to um this at first Say north Say north uh, uh... Or is it Switzerland after all? Infostel. Could that be it? Hold on a second. Mm, no, no, that seemed like it was a little too... 20 seconds left. Okay, quick. What was this thing called? Problem is I have very, very bad retention with this. Wait, those blue signs. What do the blue signs say? Skibus Fusum Umbrella. If it's going to be Switzerland... I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here, not too far from Austria. Uh, it was Austria, but not too far from Switzerland. We kind of had Liechtenstein, um, separating us. This is not a bad score. It's over four thousand points. That automatically makes me content. So what was this actually called? I'm curious. Or was that just hotel? Did that did that just say hotel? Hang on, let's go back quickly. I want to have a look. Um, ba 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 boom. Also, were there any other? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could have guessed Austria. I re and with the license plates, I really probably should have. But I think it, now I'm at a point where I've fallen on my face by not trusting my gut so many times that now I'm basically just okay. Gerlos, Gerlos. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I could have theoretically found it. Okay, not to worry. Over 4,000 points, 223 kilometers away. Not bad at all. Um, this over here... Well, there are several clues here. We are in the United Arab Emirates. The biggest clue that stood out to me... Uh, <laughs> you know, I genuinely wasn't going to say Dubai was the biggest clue because I literally just noticed it. For me, it's their iconic highway signs. It's got like an eagle badge here. It always stands out to me because it kind of looks badass. So... Um, we could actually, we could possibly 5k this with 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It is kind of, you know, UAE is pretty easy to figure out where you are, especially in Dubai. Uh, anyway, uh, close that too. So are we on the 102? I believe, I would believe it would make sense that we would be on the 102. Wait, why did I go here? UAE is over there. Uh, 102. Can we tell, like, sort of which direction we're going in from? The road is going northwest, so it could be... Yeah, that's north. North. Let me try to, like... Yeah, uh, no. If anything, the road is kind of going directly north. Is that the 102 by any chance? Is it? Is the 102 a big road? Is it a big highway? I've definitely seen bigger highways in UAE playing this game, so... Uh, 102. And the other thing is I don't see that... I don't see that many, if at all, any 100 uh, highway numbers. Oh, no, E102, there it is. Um, so, is it saying that there's an exit? What's the, what are the closest ones? And let's actually check the other side as well. Is that, yeah, if we go a little bit south, Malaya Hospital Archaeological Area. Can we, yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's promising. E55. I think we are on the E55, and what's happening is that this is saying that you can get on the E102. So, we're going kind of like 
Oh, okay. No, it's the perspective of the camera because I always point it like this and then I look at the compass, but that's actually wrong. I think we have to align ourselves like this. So now, um, hold on. I mean, this has to be it. This has to be it here somewhere. 24 seconds left, unless I'm being completely clueless. Let me just quickly see, is that a gas station? I want to see the name of this gas station if I can. ADNOC. If we can find the ADNOC gas station, um, could have, could have honestly been a little bit quicker on my feet here. Uh, where, or, or should have I trusted the compass? Um, no, no, okay. No. Okay, well now I'm just completely confused because we were actually on the 102. Um, health center, I could have looked for that. Just one more time. So if this road was going northwest, and I had my compass like this, um, no, 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 that was just me having a brain fart. Okay, everything checks out. We got almost a 5k, I'm very content with this, but had I looked a little bit better, then we could have even gotten the full 5k. Nonetheless, let's carry on. The what is here we are driving on the right so no point trying to catch up to that truck to see what it says this truck could be a little bit more helpful could we get a license plate license plate had a little shade of blue there sortador santiguido santiguido that guido hmm with the amount of Japanese cars that seem to be imported and converted, I'm inclined to think Bolivia, Chile, Peru. Another sort of station wagon here. Um, Peru doesn't seem too, that, too far of a reach, just because the other one that I uploaded the other day um, I was kind of thinking maybe we're in Bolivia, but we were actually in Peru. They have some similarities, but definitely some distinct differences that I noticed after rewatching the round. So, let's... Here, I don't think I'm looking closely. Comarapa, Municipio Modelo. Is there a... Let me, let me just have a quick look. Municipality. How would municipalities be really labeled here? For now, I'm going to stick it like right smack in the middle of all three. This is a placeholder. I don't actually think it's there, but if I accidentally forget to place a guess before the timer runs out, it won't be the end of the world. Um, a flag would be awesome. That's what I'd be really, really stoked on right about now. I find also with Bolivia rounds... It's almost always in La Paz or um, other big cities. And then when you get rural Bolivia, it actually is a little bit different. Now, I, I just remembered that one license plate had a bit of a blue tint to it. And if I recall, I was looking at the license plate, a blurred license plate, on one of the SUVs. Um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, by, about the, like, the import, imported uh, Toyotas. From Japan and then converted uh, to left-hand drive like the steering wheel. Those have always been pretty cool to me. As a car geek, that's that's always been something interested, something interesting. Uh, oh, and they have trucks too. That's dope. Okay. Uh, wait. Wait. That is... It's blurred now, but I real Yeah, I really think we're in Peru. I really think we're in Peru. It's uh, it's kind of green. I'm going to maybe go here. 15 seconds on the clo Oh, no, 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 no. Map, get out of my face. So we're going kind of north. There's mountains to the north and a little bit to the west. Uh, seven seconds, seven seconds, a little bit north and a little bit to the west. I'm going to say we're like around here, in like a town like this, for example. And, uh, well, I'll be damned because we were actually in Bolivia. It's okay. Um, as I was saying, rural Bolivia is tricky. We didn't see a flag, unfortunately. If I recall, also, like, the only Bolivian license plates I've seen have had just a 
uh, j they've just been like white background black text but of course this could be different in different parts of the country um what was this called santa cruz department they're called departments so i guess depending on the department you'll have different license plates but good thing to keep an eye on eye on uh we got like what looks to be almost exactly halfway in terms of points i'll take it let's get our last round in we're feeling something Scandinavian European here, although I shouldn't be so quick because the very, very first round of the first video that I uploaded, well, I thought we were in um, in Europe and it turned out to be, what was it? It was Argentina. It was South America. That being said, the trees scream a little bit more Scandinavian European to me here. Um, problem is we're in the middle of nowhere. We saw people, let's go back to the start before we invest too much time into this, because there's houses over here. Uh, for me, in terms of, oh my gosh. Wow, that's gorgeous. You know, if this looked any warmer, I actually could have thought that this was New Zealand. It's not New Zealand because we're on the left here. Um, this could be like far north Finland. Let me let me look for some languages. Got a RV park. Okay, could that? Uh, I can't see it. Coverage is old. V. That's not very Finnish, I'd say. I'd say that's more Norwegian slash Swedish. Gonna put it there for now. Uh, I'm going to make the map a tiny bit smaller as well, just because it gets in the way and eats up precious seconds of time. Uh, ba -ba -boo! What are you? What? You're blurred. I'm not sure which language that uh, that toilet is in. We have a Citroen. We have... Now, wait a second. I don't think I'm noticing. No white or no blue on the license plates at all. And if this is a cheeky Switzerland round, that would be very interesting. You know, it doesn't look freezing like it would in. Ugh, why am I tempted by Switzerland so much now? Is it perhaps that I'm feeling bummed out that it wasn't actually Switzerland on the first round and I should have gone Austria? Okay, it's crazy because, like, you could see a landscape like this, like. In some rural town in BC. It's uh it's nuts, but I mean that's just latitude and longitude for you. Or could this be like Faroe Islands, Iceland? Holy shit, 20 seconds. Um hmm. no, I'm legitimately stumped. I'm legitimately stumped. 12 seconds. Uh it mm. Still screams Scandinavia more than Iceland. You know what? I'm going to go up here, Sweden, Norway. And it was Norway. I actually should have kept it a bit more south. Not sure why I didn't see any yellow, um, uh, blue little side tabs on the license plates here. We were in a place called Vestland. Uh, is this any... Is this? So I guess I, it makes sense why I thought Faroe Islands and Iceland, because it does start to get kind of like that over there. We didn't get very many points, because much like what I said about Chile in the earlier round, long country, pretty narrow, kind of hard to guess, a bit of a crapshoot in rural areas. Um, but, hey, that's okay. We finished with a total score of 19,316, which, if I'm not mistaken, um, here, let's have a quick look here. Uh, where am I? Our best round was the third one in UAE, which, to be fair, is kind of easy mode. Um, but if we go back to daily challenges, well, I mean, for the three days that I've been uploading, we've been climbing. So if we can break 20k tomorrow, I'll call that a win. But for now, just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps the channel a lot early on. Um, we'll see where this goes. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow.